In today's video, I want to show you a legendary lantern. Lantern from the company Firehand. And this is not only the simple lantern. This is actually a piece of history because they're making these lanterns since 1893. Hello and welcome to the Straight Try channel. And yes, today I am very excited because I was planning to get one of these lanterns for the very long time. And this lantern from the company uh, Firehand and in German it sounds a bit different but very similar to English. Uh, I cannot really speak in German but I can show you how it sounds in German. Firehand. This very cool piece of history and how old dimension because it's been making this lantern since 1893. And I bought one because I want to have one in my house in case of emergency. And it's actually made in Germany and they're still making them in Germany. I'm surprised that they managed to actually keep making them in Germany, not in China, like the most of the other companies. And I want to start from a little bit of history so yeah so they start making them in 1893 and the establishment of the manufacturing facilities for hurricane lanterns by the brothers near in barefield or mountains and then 1902 uh, they actually uh, patent application for manufacturing the lanterns and then 1914 registration of the trademark and 1920s adding the round uh fewer hand emblem to the brand so this one and then 1933 they actually start making the baby series and then 1989 uh the special baby model and then 2014 become the part of petromax group so that's the history and this is all the specifications, size and the safety. I'm not going to read all these things because you can just check on internet. And here we have instructions how to use it. And I'm actually going to read these instructions. Yeah, not on the camera because that will take too long because I never used one in my life. So I want to know how actually to use this lantern in a safe way because don't forget that we're playing with fire and this is a green color my favorite color and i think it's time to check the actual lantern okay let's take this from the box and it comes in this very vintage looking paper paper bag yeah, it's kind of cool and this is the actual lantern wow it looks really very vintage like a proper vintage lantern it's so cool I like the color and I need to take, oops, this little thing off on this little label. How we can see it's original Eternity Fjordhand Lantern made in Germany and the famous logo, Hand with Fire. Looks cool. And now let's check the actual lantern yeah it's actually look old even that it's brand new and how to use this lantern it's not that difficult and complicated it just what you need to do you need to actually uh, do it safely because otherwise you can set your house on fire so the first thing what you need to do 
is to put some fuel and this is a fuel cap this is a fuel cap and you need to put fuel up to this mark it says very clearly in instructions that you need to put a 300 yeah and then when you're gonna put a fuel in you have to wait for 20 minutes um, for the wick to soak with fuel and then you can actually light this lantern so what i'm gonna do now i need to put some fuel and the fuel i'm gonna use is from company bird brand clear lamp oil indoor and outdoor oh that's kind of cool so i'm gonna do it guys off camera i'm not gonna record it because i don't wanna spill this fuel on my table and even uh, of the camera when i was putting fuel i managed to spill this fuel all over my table so you need to be very very careful so now by the instructions i need to wait 20 minutes till the wick will get soaked with the fuel and this little lever actually adjusts the wick high how you can see it goes up and down up and down and this small lever actually lifts the glass yeah when it's ready yeah when the wick is soaked with fuel you need to lift the glass i will do it in a minute and just light with the lighter or match it actually i'm gonna use uh matches because this is a vintage lantern so i definitely gonna use some matches not the lighter so what i'm gonna do i'm just gonna leave it for 20 minutes and then i'm gonna show you how this lantern actually works and how much light it produces and after 20 minutes we are ready we are ready to light this lantern and the first thing what you need to do you need to make sure that there is not too much of wick is out yeah just keep very short and then later when you will light you can actually adjust uh, the high or how much light do you want so to lift the glass it's very simple how you can see this small uh, lever you need to press down and there is a, like a small gap where it holds the lever and the glass is up so now I want to use uh, actual matches oh. and I want to light it's done and now you need to put this lever back up and how you can see it is ready and it looks so cool and now you can actually adjust the light and I probably I can do even more wow and now I will turn the lights off and I will show you how it looked in a dark environment and how much you can see with this lantern this is a legendary lantern in action and how you can see it worked so cool and I can actually boost a little bit more that you could see me can you see me people I'm right here if I would need to use this light in a emergency situation it's definitely 
better than nothing. It produces enough light to see where I'm going. Yeah, I don't know how it looks on the camera, but for me, I actually, I can see without any problems. It looks so cool. You need to be very careful because it actually gets hot. Yeah, so you need to use the special handle to hold it. And I think that this is a very cool lantern. And I would highly recommend to get one. They're not that expensive. I will leave the couple of links below uh, from where I bought it. It's not that expensive. It cost about uh, 30 pounds. So I guess it's like about, I don't know, $38. But remember that you're actually paying for the piece of history. And why I bought one? I actually bought one, first of all, in case of emergency, because you never know what's gonna happen tomorrow. And now we all know that we live in a interesting times when the many bad things happen, uh, like uh, nature disasters, hurricanes, uh, floods, and all these kind of things. So to have one in case of emergency, I absolutely recommend. And the second thing is that uh, uh, very soon I'm going to do some glamping and I know that where I'm going is going to be very dark uh, during the night. So I want to test this lantern in a proper environment, like a dark environment. And hopefully I will make the vlog video, hopefully because I absolutely suck at vlogging. You probably already noticed that. And uh, I would say that it's not that expensive and it's very handy to have in your house. So, to put the fire down, it's very simple. All you need to do is just to push, using this lever again, just to push uh, the wick down and boom. That's it. It's off. And as always, thank you very much for watching. And uh, if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like and subscribe. And I will see you all in my next videos. You all take care.